So let's go right now inside this on create method and we're gonna start by declaring a couple of string arrays. We have to use this keyword string. As you can see, it starts with a capital letter and then we have to use this pair of square brackets. And then let's say player names. If you have an application that keeps track of the names of uh, multiple players and then we can initialize and add, add values one by one. And so what we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna go and say string, string array, and then let's say car brands. And we're gonna say new string array. So we have just like this, and then let's say we have 10 maximum 10 then car brands of zero and we just add a couple of cars so we can just say Honda and then we can say car brands of one is gonna be um, let's just say Toyota and so on so you can add as many as you want and uh, the rest of them um, as you can see we're just gonna have uh, if you have 10 cars if you specified just uh, some customized values for these two um, slots, the rest of the slots we're gonna have the default uh, um, value for strings. And so right now we're just gonna go and initialize and add values all at once. So in order to do this, uh, I'm just gonna show you a sentence. So we're gonna have string array and then sentence so we're just going to set it equal to some values and what we're going to do is we're just going to break a sentence in multiple words so we're going to say the sky is blue and so as you can see right now we have each word in our sentence and then we can just uh, display it on the screen or do whatever modifications we want with it